Bio must guard against mirroring the weaknesses of its predecessor, the Organization of African Unity. The African Union isn't living up to expectations, and member states are partly to blame, according to a commission chairperson Massa Faki Muhammad. He says they're using their sovereignty to avoid relegating powers to the commission. The EU's weaknesses are evident in its failure to deal with recent crises, including conflicts in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Sudan, northern Mozambique's insurgency and coups in Guinea, Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. How can the continental body become more relevant as Africa enters a new year? Can it help citizens experience more stability, or will 2024 be another year of conflict? And how can member states help bring peace to the continent? This isn't the first time Faki has chided member states for the AUC's failure. As instability and underdevelopment persist, questions have arisen about whether the O displays the systemic weaknesses of its predecessor. The Organization of African Unity, one of the OAU's biggest problems was that the General Secretariat was reduced to clerical functions. It should have implemented the organization's decisions that lacked the required institutional powers and human, financial and material resources, essentially because member states refused to grant it autonomy to function. Recent reforms have tightened the AUC budget and collapsed or merged some departments. Similar to the OAU structure, keeping staff to a bare minimum has also weakened the AUC. 61% of the AUC staff are on short-term contracts because recruiting permanent staff hasn't been possible. This has led to low morale and a drastic decline in productivity. Endless transformation and reform projects since 2003 have left the AUC more confused, less productive and fragile, with no overarching continental mechanism to check and complement countries' activities. States can act as they please, even when such actions threaten their sovereignty, other member states, or even the O itself. This has weakened governments and fomented fragmentation. It has undercut state accountability and enabled coups and chronic and institutionalized corruption. The phrase, plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose, has characterized Africa's efforts to forge continental integration over the past 60 years. No norms guide how African states should conduct their foreign policies or relations. A good first step would be to resolve full funding issues and empower the AUC chairperson to be solely accountable for the Commission's work. The AUC should also have autonomy to recruit operational staff and senior managers, except the chairperson and deputy. In its current state, neither the O nor its member states can achieve Agenda 2063. Unless these issues are urgently addressed, the risks becoming irrelevant.